I'm Allie, Design Specialist with EventsWholesale.com. Today we're going to be going over how to assemble an ostrich feather centerpiece. You really only need three pieces of equipment to assemble these centerpieces. All you need is a floral bouquet holder, an Eiffel Tower vase, and ostrich feather plumes or drabs. Start at the bottom of the floral bouquet holder and we'll insert the feathers into the base of the floral bouquet holder, just like that. And then we'll work our way around the floral bouquet holder, inserting the ostrich feather plumes or drabs just a couple of inches apart from each other, rotating around the base of the floral bouquet holder. A good tip is to use the larger feathers at the base of this floral bouquet holder and then use the smaller feathers as you get around to the top. A pro tip on this one, um, if you want a nice arc to your feathers, which most people do on these centerpieces, assemble the centerpiece a couple of days before so that way the feathers have time to relax and fall down a little bit. So we'll just insert our floral bouquet holder into the Eiffel Tower vase. So the drabs are a little bit smaller than the plumes. The ostrich drabs come in a variety of different colors with almost any color imaginable. Our most popular size is from 13 to 16 inches. The ostrich drab is really the best option for those on a tight budget looking to still wow their guests at their event. And then we also have ostrich feather plumes. These are wing plumes from the ostrich and these range from 18 to 22 inches. These come in a wide variety of colors as well, which really allows for you to get really creative. Once you complete your ostrich feather centerpiece, you can accessorize in a number of different ways. This is an original Floralite one, which is a disposable one-time use LED light. One thing to note is once you turn it on, you cannot turn it off. So make sure when you turn these on, you're ready to go for your event. One Floralite will last anywhere from 24 to 48 hours when it is out of water, and between eight and 10 hours when it is in water. They also come in a variety of different colors. So here in front of me, we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and teal floral lights. Here in my hand, I have the original Floralite one, which is just a white light, and I'm gonna show y'all how to use this one. So what you do when you're ready to use your Floralite is you'll just pull the tab at the base of the light just like so. Once you pull the tab, the floor light will illuminate. And then you can drop it down into the base of your Eiffel Tower base. What we recommend doing is using two floor lights per Eiffel Tower base, so you can tie them on to the bottom of your bouquet holder here. And then once you drop the bouquet holder back into the base, of the Eiffel Tower vase. It will be nice and lit up for all of your guests. So a nice little um, illumination in the center of your tables. As you can see around me, water beads create this beautiful gem-like appearance in vases. So I'm going to go over just a little bit about how to use water beads and how much water we use for each type of vase. So for this Eiffel Tower vase that we have here, we'll use one teaspoon of water beads for the entire vase. So you can just put the water beads directly into the base, and then fill your base with water. You wanna give yourself ample amount of time to let these beads soak and expand to the size that you see here in front of me. 
So usually around eight hours is what we recommend for the time for the beads to soak and expand. If you're filling the beads in the vase already, you can just fill the vase to the top with water. However, if you're soaking your water beads outside of the vase, you can use your one teaspoon of water beads to two cups of water. And then we'll move over to our trumpet vase. And this vase is a little larger, so it's gonna require some more water beads than the Eiffel Tower vase. For this vase, we'll use a heaping tablespoon, so we'll really get a good tablespoon in there of beads. We'll put them down at the bottom, and then we will add our water to this vase as well. Again, allow about eight hours for your beads to soak and expand. Just like the other vase, if you're filling this vase with the water beads directly, you can go ahead and fill the water all the way up to the top. And if you're soaking your water beads outside of the vase, you can just use your heaping tablespoon of water beads and 10 cups of water. These elegant centerpieces will really take your special day and make it the event of the year. Really, the options are endless for you to be able to make these ostrich feather centerpieces really the star of your event.